guys, it's April, and I just got done with my reread of the Song of the Lioness series, and of course, I have some words for you. I will do this series review the same way I do all of my other reviews. I will have my non-spoiler section up front, followed by a dump of words that probably contain spoilers at the end. I will let you know when that transition happens, so that if you don't want to spoil yourself, you can leave and then come back after you've read the books, because you're going to want to read the books. So I made it a goal this year to reread all of the Tortal books, and that started out with the Song of the Lioness series. This is the story of Alana as she becomes a king's knight. The first book, of course, being Alana, the first adventure, then In the Hands of a Goddess, The Woman Who Rides Like a Man, and Lioness Rampant, all of which are by Tamira Pierce. So as you follow Alana and her adventure into becoming a knight, she starts out disguising herself as a boy and proving her worth by indoctrinating herself into a man's world. Pierce has created such a strong character in Alana that you can't help but admire Alana for the strength that she has and the will that she has, the way that she's not afraid to just do what needs to be done. Throughout the whole series, Alana is a doer. She wants to make the world a better place. She's fighting for this equality between the sexes, which I really admire. And as a young girl, when I first picked up these books, it was amazing to read through this and see such a strong Strong character and the fact that this series is not shy about being a woman. It goes through all of the details and it doesn't hold anything back and this was one of the first series that I ever really saw that in and so I didn't feel quite so weird about my own puberty I guess. <laughs> it sounds weird to say but it is nice that women bodily functions are not glossed over at all. It seems like a minor thing but it's something that has always stuck with me and during these rereads I just re-saw how strong this character was. Though I question sometimes how Alana handles her romantic endeavors. A lot of times I was left questioning of if this character is as strong as I feel she is, why does she struggle so much in this area? It's almost two different characters, two different sides. And maybe that was intentionally done because you have this strong woman warrior and then you still have this feminine side of Alana with all the feelings that go along with it. But it is painful at times to see how men just try to manipulate and assume a lot of things about Alana and how Alana has to break a lot of these molds and a lot of these stereotypes because she's not going to fit and she doesn't want to fit and I love, 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 love that. Now one thing I will say with some of Tamara Pierce's early words such as the Alana series, things move very, very quickly. They're not very long. Each of them are only, they start out about 200 or so odd pages and then eventually reach 300 or so pages. So there's a lot of things crammed into each little book and so sometimes the pacing feels really really fast and you don't feel like you get to know the characters as much as you want to get to know them. But still going back I really enjoyed going back on this adventure and just seeing Alana come into her own especially in the later books. Love seeing that. So if you're interested in reading a woman becoming a knight, a gen gender bender, equality, fierce fantasy, then I highly recommend you pick up these books because I truly enjoy them and this nostalgia is real. So at this point I am now going to start my whole word dump about pretty much a lot of the things that go on because I'm going to be talking about a whole series which will mean I will spoil things for the earlier part of the series. So leave now or forever hold your peace. While I really truly enjoy this series, I mentioned it a little bit, I've always felt a little weird about a lot of Alana's romances and how things just kind of play out because you have Jonathan who's a very forceful personality and Alana just kind of takes it for a while until eventually she starts to realize what is going on. Because I see Jonathan as a character who could potentially, if not put into check, can be very domineering, borderlining on oppressive maybe? because he assumes things and his will be done. He's a future king. He's been raised to have his word accepted. And when Alana doesn't really do that, he can't seem to comprehend that. So I've never really truly been a fan of Jonathan. And then of course, I've always loved George Cooper. Cooper has always been my man. I just like the way that George just lets Alana make decisions and lets Alana come to him, but at times steps forward and say, hey, I'm still here, just so you don't forget me. I'm not pushing anything, 
but I'm here and I think I like that most about George which is probably why I like that relationship so much and I just Liam I could never really get on the Liam bandwagon because Forming a relationship with someone who doesn't like part of yourself, I don't think anybody should ever do that. You should never suppress yourself for another man. So just seeing the evolution of all those different relationships and how Alana slowly wades herself through all of that, there is a lot of potentially problematic relationships that I'm glad didn't end up being the final relationship. I would have taken a lot of issues, especially going back now and reading them. I don't think I picked up on a lot of that the first time around. It seems so so weird to see how weirdly vulnerable Alana gets in relationships and sometimes it drives me nuts because I want her to be this all-around strong character but other times it's nice to see her with flaws because if Alana was this perfectly written character I don't think I would have attached myself as much as I did to this story kind of, I'm kind of back and forth on that oh my gosh I totally forgot the ending of Faithful in this series I love Faithful Faithful is once again, one of my favorite characters. I, I, for, I forgot that Faithful said goodbye in the last book. And that, that death was probably the one that hit me the hardest. For whatever reason, I didn't seem to remember the last two books. I don't know what it is. I remember the first two very vividly. So when I went back and did this reread, it was almost like reading the last two books for the first time. As I was reading, some of it was coming back to me. But it was weird to have that experience because I'm like, wait, wait. Oh, and I'm really glad that I did read the Becca Cooper series. I think it was last year because a lot of that ends up flowing into what the Alana series is, which is really, really interesting. So to see some of that play out after getting that backstory, it gave so much more meaning to what was going on and I made so many more connections. I'm really excited to continue on in this series. I can't even tell you. And if you have read this series or if you're part of the read along that I'm doing, just give me words down below. I really want to talk to you guys about it because this world is one of my favorite worlds to go back to and to continue reading on in. It's a place that I will probably never stop revisiting. Tell me down below what your thoughts are and I heart your beautiful faces. Bye.